come once more this is Aki Magneto and uh, this is a very special and a very crucial um, moment first I would like to thank those who are watching my video and those who shared recently and those who commented and those who um, subscribed now I promise I'm gonna make sure I do my best for you now let's go straight to what we have here now in the previous videos I explained how we can um, uh, design the pages, the the view orders, the view users, and others. Now, uh, as I promised, that this video will cater for how we can create the admin interface. That means the portal where we are going to log in to the, um, to manage all these pages. Of course, we have to assign some privileges for users separately and for the admin separately. The users can be monitored through this area. That means the user can um, log in. Um, once he or she logs in, it is our password. Now it gain access to this. Now this is uh, the members area where you can um, normally fill out what you want as a request, and you can make complaints. Now and there is, must be another where another place where you uh, where the admin that means the owner of the web website manages um, the website it, it, uh, himself or herself. You know just the who the owner might be now this is why i created this uh this uh, this row here where i you know i started an image here to say admin area so right now let's dive straight to what we need to do it's very simple the first thing we need to do is to first create a folder the folder name is going to be called admin now once you do that you go to copy css images let me um large icons okay let me say um extra large no 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 that would be too much sorry okay uh, okay let's say uh, large icons okay now you copy css images uh, this and you will copy this these are the four folders or the four elements you copy copy then paste inside this uh, document paste now once you do that you already have some do some documents here. now the next thing we're going to do is to cut some um, document out v users v orders uh, manage complaints um d2 d3 deletes what else we need to call to to cop to cut now once you do that so sorry delete these these three folders um four and five folders six okay now cut once you cut paste them inside the admin now i mean this is the admin section where you know this is the admin part where you know the administrator manages all entries which is our user the orders and the complaint now let's go over there and check what we have now now then let's uh, admin now we have admin here that means you can see since yeah uh, the reason why it showed this first was that there is no index page so what we need to do is um, to make sure we create um, a login page the first thing and it's, uh, the second thing we need to do is, um, is to create um, our database. Then the third thing we need to do is to create the main page. That means after successful login, where it's going to land us to before we can have access to manage complaints, manage orders, man and view users. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to go straight to our um, database, which is localhost um, PHP my admin. Now, the first thing we need to do under our same database. We need to create a table called admin and um, uh, create uh, let's say three okay three tables now what's to do this now the first one is gonna be um, sorry user user ID integer let's make it length to be 10 auto increment let's make it auto increment um, let's make this admin username now let's say this should be um let's say 100 and um let's say admin password okay admin password let's say 100 too okay now once you do this just uh, click on save now what you need to do is this click on the same uh, table created now let's insert some uh, dummy content inside it now admin at admin.com and the sorry okay okay i said username okay integer sorry 
let's go and change the file structure again okay sorry i forgot to change i'm very sorry please oh uh, okay um okay change sorry let's change okay now the this should be virtual sorry i'm very sorry please this should be virtual too. okay sorry save okay now let's try to um, insert some things in them okay admin at admin.com okay the next one is admin go now that means we inserted uh we've uh, inserted a value that means username and password which is admin at admin the come okay so once we do that the next thing for us is to now uh, um uh, okay go to our connection folder and create another okay inside the admin we need to create another folder for database database now what are, what are we going to put in this it's the new uh, connection folder we are going to uh, you know do now let's just move this straight to this now copy new now save inside our new database say con dot php c o n n dot php now this is still the same as this this will still be the same as this but there's going to be a little um changes so as of this now this is still the same um okay okay i think we can still make use of the existing one sorry let's go back and delete this database okay let's delete it delete uh yes since we are still making use of the same connection file i think it's still gonna work it's definitely gonna work okay so now the next thing for us is to go straight to um, creating our you know our login page so uh what we need to do is um since we already have a login page here we are just going to copy and uh, you know um copy and uh, change some things there copy and uh, open new paste now let's close this and let's save these as um, um okay login dot php okay no sorry inside the admin login dot php okay now once you do this um let's say this is admin admin login page so um okay i think the major thing we need to do right here is um okay login login here okay 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 now um, okay i think the name here what we are trying to do right here okay first thing let's delete this session here first for now good and um let's go straight here now the form we have email no username username now the next one is password this is a um, type uh, okay no no this should be uh, text text this is text this is password okay um okay name password this okay login okay now let's go straight here inside the same connection folder i think yes it's still on the same route login this is uh, okay username but this u is small letter okay password now this is from admin okay where user let's check our database first admin username sorry admin admin username admin username to this uh, um, admin password to admin password okay select admin um from um okay admin where username because this is is okay sorry admin okay um okay admin sorry yes yes i think i'm on uh, admin user 
name equals to uh, admin username okay admin password equals to admin password okay okay Okay, this should take us to let's say main main of PHP. Okay, session email. Uh, okay, let's say uh, username admin. Admin, uh, let's call username. Okay okay um, okay let's try to see this if it's gonna work mm, okay username password okay okay now for us to make the login.php to, to work now since we I think the first thing we need to add it uh, okay the session yeah we are that we already deleted so let's uh, we've added it back and um, okay we're gonna do some changes here so since it's going to work on the same script so i suggested we just copy from um, from the login.php um, and change some things here now this would be um, admin username okay now this is uh, admin password uh, now you're going to change from here change this to admin um, this is um, admin username okay this is also admin username okay now this is um, admin password likewise this admin password now the next thing we're gonna okay let's um, say page.php Okay, just let's uh, let's say admin underscore page dot php or let's say index yeah index dot php okay um okay the session here it's gonna be um admin uh username okay now um okay mean uh, okay let's check it out now Now login. Now this is um, login of PHP under the admin. Now let's let's now um, let's uh, try. Now let's quickly check our database to see what we are. Okay, admin at admin dot com. Admin at admin dot com. Okay, the password is admin. Now it should take us to a page called um, admin. Um, sorry, index dot PHP. Okay, let's let's see. Or before we do that, let's quickly, you know, create a file, um, save it as our index.php. Okay, so once you do that, though, though this is not going to take us to show a blank page, but just let's leave it like that. Um, let's refresh this again. Let's refresh, let's refresh. Okay, sorry, admin at admin. Okay, let's admin now login now you can see it worked now this is our index page so now the next um video i'm going to try to do is uh, to design the um index page or before we go let's quickly change some things here let's quickly change some things here i'm not that well acquainted with uh, what we have here already um okay the login here let's change the um i think um okay um okay um login okay uh, okay let's leave it like this so as or let me say admin login Admin straighter portal. Okay. Okay. And um, let's copy the same thing here. 
Dude. Login secure. Okay. Good. Now, this is. Uh, now the next video, I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going to walk you through on how you can uh, on how we can work on our um, index of PHP and add all the pages together. Thank you.